Hello, Earth signs. This is going to be your weekly reading. This energy you could span over now until I'm um, doing this until the 7th um, of December. That's the energy that I'm kind of trying to pick up on, but it could resonate uh, after that, before that, whenever you're seeing this. It's just a checkup for air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So let's see. What's going on with Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy? So for your career, um, not Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth signs. I just did air signs readings. Okay, that's why I'm a little, okay, Earth signs. So, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy showing up in your spread though, definitely. I'm seeing Gemini here, um, Aquarius, Libra energy. You have the moon, so this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, Let's see, I'm seeing you getting recognition at work or you're getting some sort of um, prestige promotion. It actually looks really good. I almost feel like right now, Earth Signs, you're in a space of not knowing uh, what's going on with your career, but I, let's see why. What's this moon energy here for? Because you have um, two major arcanas sitting next to each other. So this is a major shift in your career, Earth Signs. There's a little uncertainty though right now, why? Star in the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, so there's a situation that you could go towards a new venture, something earning a lot more money. Um, you may actually get recognition and reward for it. Yeah, but you're like not moving towards this. Some of you may not be time. Why is this Six of Swords in reverse? Some of you, it's just about fear. There's something that you want to go towards, but you're not uh, sure how it's going to pan out. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? And this is all for career, what I'm seeing. Three of Wands. It's not time if you some of you feel some of you it's not time but for some of you you're still stuck in the past so you're not willing to move forward okay and that could be why you're not getting your accolades but honestly you may need to make some changes earth signs in the next six weeks could be six months for some of you that will actually really pay off especially Taurus. that's going to be really good for your business for your career this is talking about your own personal work okay whatever you're doing whatever you like to do it's something that you like to do okay so with the magician here, it could be a business venture, it can be artistic, it can be creative, it can be music, it can be comedy, it can be writing, it can be... a Magician usually is something that is like your own creative talents, something that you're using. Um, but I feel that some of you haven't went towards this or haven't made a leap of faith or whatever it is that you need to do to get this in because um, your, the past is still here, the Six of Cups. Some of you are looking towards the future and you've actually turned your back on the past as far as your career is concerned, but you haven't made any actual moves yet. See, hangman, you're stuck. So some of you, um, some of you, this is bigger than just your career. This may have to do with also a love situation. So some of you could be married and maybe you're, or you're in a commitment that doesn't support your goals financially or support your career. So you may be having to leave behind a whole partnership with somebody, whether it be love or financial, friendship, whatever, that doesn't support your goals. But I'm seeing you being pretty solid in the future if you go towards this new venture, Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant, especially Taurus energy, because there's a lot of Taurus, Virgos here, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for Earth signs. Um, you may want to focus a little bit more on what may be holding you back with this moon energy here that's why i feel like this is maybe not a week of action but more a week of reflection and also what exactly do you want to do and what is exactly stopping you from doing it because whatever this is that you want i think you already know what you want to do it's more what's stopping you from doing it because whatever is stopping you from getting in your chariot and moving towards this energy whether it be distance some of you it's literally distance or it's leaving behind an old Something that's honestly is not really good for you anyway, but figure out why it's holding you back or what's holding you back and deal with it. That's what I'm feeling like, because if you deal with it, if you make moves with, with this by Aquarius season or serving you with the net, within the next six months, depending on what your time frame is, could be June, Gemini energy here, um, then it will be beneficial for you. I'm seeing you getting the recognition of reward. I'm seeing you getting prestige promotions things like that for your career okay so i know it went kind of deep on that but earth signs y'all love career stuff that's what y'all for those of you who resonate with true earth energy you love money right so let's see what's going on for your love life for this week what's going on for earth signs and love please taurus capricorn and virgo now that i got the right signs i couldn't say the right signs earlier i kept saying air signs 
This air signs have been, I don't know, some air signs have been a little hostile with me. They've been saying I ain't been doing a reading, so I got to make sure I do these air signs. They don't play about me. They are not playing with me. All right, let's, uh, actually, love looks pretty good, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag energy here. Let's see, give me a, one more card. Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's a lot of passion with the fire sign. Some of you, this is a Sagittarius or Leo. Okay, it could be an Aries, doesn't matter. But Sag is here twice, Leo's here. Okay, because this card actually has a Leo symbol, if you see his chest piece. So some of you, this could be you, though. Um, I feel, though, this is someone coming towards you. You're not really making any, you're stuck for some reason. What the hell? Why are you stuck? Why is Earth, Why are earth signs stuck? Or it could be your person. Some of you could be done with a Pisces who's stuck or you're stuck with a Pisces. Why is this? Uh, there's a new, there's something new that wants to come in for you. Very passionate. Um, but it's like you're stuck. Why is this hangman here? Two. Somebody coming towards you could be stuck as well. Could be a fire sign or a Pisces. world yeah there's some are you ending something something's ending for you earth signs a very heavy heavy burden is ending you're you may actually still be trying to hold on to this burden or this or this burden um yeah see there's something that has to end first before you can have love in your life that's how you feel possibly or a pisces could feel that way a scorpio all right um cancerian somebody may have a, an ending that they have to uh that they're going through currently that's keeping them from moving forward in love. Yeah, judgment and the two of wands, okay? The funny thing is someone is acting as if either, okay, ace of swords. So it could be a weight. There could be a weight for this movement. Like literally, okay, if it's a divorce, then you know that takes time. This is this could be something, an ending that's taking time, especially if it's a divorce, okay? Um, so this fire sign could be not coming towards you or whoever this person is is not coming towards you because there's an ending going on in their life that's taking time. It's not really the hangman to me. It could be their own of their own accord. Some of you, it's because of money, five of pentacles, or it's just a lot going on in this person's life. For, so for some of you, this person is held up through situations that are not of their own doing. Okay, but for some of you, it's someone who's sitting here that has not learned their karmic lesson yet. They're still sitting and they haven't made any decisions to leave behind the situation. They're sitting here like this because it could be relocation involved because the Knight of Wands could mean that there's just a person that has to travel to you to be with you or you have to travel to be with this person. There may be may need to be some sort of relocation. Okay, so I'm seeing a new start with someone. Either you're stuck or this person is though, Earth sign. For some of you, I'm feeling is you. Not gonna lie, some of you cross watchers gonna be like, it's the earth sign, because it is. Why is the knight of wands uh, the king of wands here? You not the knight. It's interesting because it ends in the night. So what I feel very strongly for some of you that's going on here is there's a person that there's a lot of feelings. This person has a lot of passion for you. You have a lot of passion for this person. There is feelings here though. The feelings part of it is held up though, and the commitment part. So right now, you and this person are just okay with bumping uglies right now. And by uglies, I don't really mean like uglies unless your shit's ugly. But I mean, you guys are okay with just a, a sex with benefit, a, a sexual connection with this person, even though there's um, feelings here and there is the I see to me the makings of a commitment. But I feel that you and this person are just kind of taking it slow or you're having fun right now with the Knight of Wands energy. I do see that this person could either travel towards you or you travel towards this person. Um, I feel like this person is going to come into your life possibly this week or there's going to be this energy of this person in your life this week. But because you guys can't take things to another level right now, you're you're kind of accepting what it is for right now. And there's going to be some passion and fun between you and this person. But I don't want to make it seem like, yeah... But I feel like that's what's, yeah. See, this is someone that um, I can see commitment with. There's, there may need, until there's a divorce for somebody, it could be you, Taurus, or it could be another person, because you know, Hyperfent, whoever this person is. Until there's a divorce for someone, there may just be like this um, friends with benefits energy. It's not friends with benefits, though. I don't want to make it that frivolous, but it's like this, we'll just take the passion for right now. We'll just take, I'll just take the passion for right now because I can't have this full commitment right now. That's what I'm getting. But this person is showing up as a king. So to me, I do feel that this is something that can grow. It's not like this person is just in your life for the sex. I feel like they're, the sex is what you guys can have right now. Or this, not just the sex, but romance, you know, dating, uh, hanging out, whatever it is. 
one more and i feel like this connection this acceptance of okay we can't be together right now but we can have fun together right now is what leads to um give me one card it, it's what leads to a commitment in the future this new, this new start between you and this person of accepting that maybe right now you can't have what you want with this person, but down the line is actually the spark to a new beginning with this person. Because I feel like you and this person could have had issues in the past because someone wanted things way quicker than the other, especially if you're dealing with a fire energy. Yeah, they wanted it like right now. Um, but you couldn't give them that or they couldn't give you that. So there may have been issues with you, you two in the past, but now there's an understanding. This is an understanding that, yes, this is going to move forward, um, but it has to go, it, ha it can only go as, as much as this uh, hangman energy will allow. So let me get one more for this hangman, and then we're going to go into the extended for you and this person. I'm going to be pulling a whole different spread in the extended, so I'm going to see what things are going to look like for you and this person. Remember, this is just a weekly but I definitely feel like this week may be a spark of fun where you guys are really just accepting things for what they are right now with both having the intention that this will grow in the future. It's not just one of you. Yes, see someone, see it's a blockage, literally clarified by the seven of wands and four of pentacles. Someone's married or someone has a, a money problem, okay, that's holding this back. It could be the divine masculine energy that has another sp another person, a spouse, that they honestly aren't on good terms with. Or if it's not a spouse, they have some uh, some other energy in their life. Could be work. Remember, I said it could be a money issue. For some of you, it's a love a, a, a love a love triangle situation um, that is blocking this from from flourishing at the moment. Okay, some of you definitely could be Aries, Taurus energy here, um, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, Taurus is here again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you both having, having this understanding that this is going to be light for right now. I don't think it's that you guys don't want to be in a commitment. I think that just trying to force this, this energy to be more serious is causing problems for you guys. So I think just to salvage what you guys have and to move forward, um, you guys are going to have fun right now. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Whatever that resonates for you. I'm not judging. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead into the extended Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. If you're interested in the extended to see how things are going to play out with you and this person moving forward, check that out. It um, should be in the description box or it will be on the top of the comments. This is the last uh, day to get a reading with me as of 1130. So if you want a personal reading where you can actually ask me your own question about your situation, you'll want to get a reading with me today. Um, I do free readings on Instagram on Thursday at 1030 Eastern Standard Time, 1030 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I do paid love predictions on YouTube at 1030 Eastern Standard Time on Monday. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you check out the channel and follow me on uh, Instagram at 13 Signs Tarot. Okay, I'll see you later, Earth Signs. I'll see you in the extended. Okay, bye.